Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, has visited his Niger Republic counterpart to seek collaboration with the country's military junta in tackling insecurity and other related, uh, related matters. Nigerians don't react for this matter. They don't they talk, say, it be like say, this issue of coup for Nigeria, they really, they hurt for their head. What exactly is the problem? Anyway, make will hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Chief of Defense Staff Musa visits Niger Republic counterpart seek collaboration with military junta. Sarah reporters gathered that Musa was received by the Nigerian Defense Chief General by Nigerian Nigerian Defense Staff General Musa Salu Bamo. Nigerian's Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, has visited his Niger Republic counterpart to seek collaboration with the country's military junta in tackling insecurity and other related matters. Sahara reporters gathered that Musa was received by the Nigerian Defense Chief, okay, General Musa Salu. And, and Salu Barmo. Okay. This is despite the fact that the military junta in charge of the Niger Republic has refused to return the country to democratic government, none to rejoin the West African bloc, the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, since the bloodless coup in 2023 that led to military takeover of power in the country. Sahara reporters had, in March 2024, reported that Nigerian President Bola Tinubu directed the opening of Nigerian's land and air borders with the Republic of Niger and the lifting of other sanctions against the country with immediate effect. The directive was in compliance with the decision of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and government at its extraordinary summit held on February 24, 2024, in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. ECOWAS leaders had agreed to lift economic sanctions imposed against the Republic of Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea following military takeover of the countries and their subsequent decamp from ECOWAS. President Tinubu directed immediate lifting of closures of land and air borders between Nigeria and Niger Republic, as well as ECOWAS no-fly zone on or commercial flight to and from Niger Republic. Suspicion, suspension of all commercial and financial transactions between Nigeria and Niger, as well as frozen of all service transactions, including utility service and electricity to Niger Republic. Freeze assets of the Republic of Niger in ECOWAS, a central bank and freeze of assets of the Re Republic of Niger, the state enterprise, and Paracetos. And, okay, and Paracetos, please uh, uh, pardon me, in commercial banks. Sus suspension of Niger from all financial assistance and transactions we all financial, particularly the MBID and board, travel bans on government officials and their family members. President Tinubu also approved the lifting of financial and economic sanctions against the Republic of Guinea, 
during his 21st section, ECOWAS said it was lifting sanctions it imposed on Niger to emulate the suffering of his people. The, the regional bloc had imposed the sanction after the military coup in July 2023 deposed the democratically elected government of Mohammed Bazoum. <laughs> it is reflection of the relationship between the West and Russia. Hmm. But in Nigeria, one must bind with the Niger Republic one together and the needful is about to enter the atmosphere. I doubt because I doubt it or because one is tropically in Nigeria and the other is from Niger, except uniform. They showed that they had nothing at all in common. The guy on the right simply gave the Nigerian a cold shoulder, get away from me, kind of shoulder. Hmm. So true. The body moved completely away from the house slave Nigerian military person. Why the 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 unrepentant, patriotic, or positively nationalistic economic Niger Republic military human being is like, hey, you have no shame to allow that crude oil scandal in Nigeria nationwide. You built the mighty refinery and all the other modular refineries that can liberate the whole block race. And we'll be refining that of the Niger Republic as well. But he said, you are, you, you rather buying your own crude oil inside your own country from foreign companies who did not get the permission of the populace to operate. Shame. He should told, he should told him something like, and Mr. Francis Adega said the following. Okay, guys, that, that is funny. These are some reactions from Nigerians. So what's your take on this? Uh, maybe we hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. As you can see, Nigerians are were like, wow, what exactly is these people doing? When I shame, they shame me be this. So how you think this matter? How you see them? Make we hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.